Hey guys, Stuff Covered here, and today was Apple's WWDC keynote where they announced a bunch of new things from their brand new Mac lineup to OS X Mountain Lion to iOS 6. And I got my hands on the iOS 6 developer preview and over the next few days, I'm gonna be doing video reviews on all of their brand new features. But right now I'm gonna be focusing in on Siri and the brand new Maps app. Siri can now do a ton of brand new things such as launching apps, so I could say launch weather if you're a lazy person or you just have a ton of apps this this would really come in useful if you don't want to have to scroll through pages after pages see it got the weather, I could also say launch iTunes right there, pretty clean understands me almost every time and Siri can now even get sports info so I could say, what was the score for the last Miami Heat game? The Heat bested the Celtics by a score of 101 to 88 mm -hmm. last Saturday. The Celtics are out of the playoffs. Nice one. It even told me that the Celtics are now kicked out of the playoffs. Gives me the scoreboard, even tells me where they played at, which in this case was the American Airlines Arena. Gives me the score right there. Really nice. Uh, now that Apple even partnered up with Rotten Tomatoes, so you could even get movie infos now. So I could say, what movies are currently playing at the AMC? Okay, I found eight movies Boom. in theaters matching AMC starting around 7.11 p.m. Even told me around what time and got my current time, and then it showed the movie starting around this time. Right here at Prometheus, Snow White... A bunch of other movies, really cool. You can even click a movie. Right here, you can even watch the trailer right there. You have reviews. All from Rotten Tomato. Really, really cool. So now let's jump into the all new Maps app. Apple isn't using Google anymore. They're using their own in-house technologies to build this whole thing. Which is vector-based, so zooming in and out is actually done pretty fast and f smooth. And buildings are also rendered in 3D pretty fast. And here, here we are. We are in Sydney, Australia because not all places are 3D capable. And Australia is the place they demoed, which is 3D capable, so that's where I am right now. And here we are at the Sydney Opera House. And now we could just hit this little button down here. And boom, we have 3D view. And here's the Opera House. I'd like to say that the colors and the buildings are actually rendered pretty nice. I haven't seen any pixelation or any blurry images, so that's a pretty big plus. Oh, look at that, it crashed. Not all apps are perfect, you guys. And this is the beta, so you will encounter some problems. So let's see if that works now. 3D. Oh, whoops. 3D. Here we go. So it's really nice. I like it a lot. Here we are. Here are some buildings. All in 3D. You see it rendered actually pretty fast. And here it is. You can do 360 view by just scrolling around. Really, really cool, you guys. Oops. And right here at the top right, you have your bookmarks. You have your bookmarks, recents, and contacts. Over here, you have your three different views. Standard, which is color coded color coded sorry so parks and grass is green roads are yellow and white too land is this whitish gray color water is obviously blue and I've seen airports to be purple so there's that <laughs> you can also drop a pin show traffic and you could print directions or list results right there and right here you see this little car icon if you were to hit that you would get turn by turn navigation which I can't since I am in the US and I can't get directions to Australia. But yeah guys, that's pretty much all there is to this map app. We have 3D, which is pretty much their biggest feature. Let's go to satellite. And yeah. You saw it crashed earlier, so it's not perfect, you guys, since it is in beta. But still, being in beta, it's actually performing really nice. And yeah, here it is. Here are the buildings. You can get a nice clear view on them. 
it's really nicely done you guys I really like it you have you re you truly have to see this in person in order to see just how nice and how much time has actually gone into detailing all these buildings and just how nice this app crashes <laughs> oh yeah I'm not gonna go into it again you guys but that's pretty much it those are that's Siri and the brand new maps app make sure to tell me in the comments down below any brand new feature you would like me to specifically cover or any new silly Siri question you would like me to ask and yeah that's pretty much it make sure to subscribe you guys and hit the like button it really helps me out a lot and if you subscribe you'll be up to date with my brand new iOS 6 videos which will be coming out in the next few days but yeah I'm stuff covered you guys and I'll see you later